Hey, hello, and welcome to a new hair fail. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, and you can also follow me on TikTok. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna dye my hair purple. I don't know, I've just really wanted purple hair for a while, and I want it demi-permanent or semi-permanent, whatever. I want it to fade out. I believe my hair is like light enough for it to happen. I think like it's level eight, nine, ten in certain places. It's a little brassy, um, but whatever. It may be light enough on some part, but if you start from that base, you will not have an even end result. If you want to have an even end result, you will have to start with an even base. There are streaks that are really blonde, there are streaks that are dark, and there are streaks that are yellow-orange. The purple that you will put on your head will be different, so it will not absorb equally on every part of your head. Mm. This is what I'm left with basically, this like mix of different blondes, but I think I'm blonde enough that it's going to be successful. I hope so, because I failed the last two times. Like it just did not take on my hair. Today, I am going to be using the Swallow Color, and I'm also going to be using the Pastelizer that is supposed to go with it. So what I'm going to do is go wash my hair, and then I will put this on, and so I'll see you for when I apply. So many brands has this uh, mixing product, to make your purple or red or blue less bright, so more pastel. This is really good, but if you use more pastel, then you will have to have more white hair. These pastel tints are really good. The whiter your hair is, the more pastel it will get. Otherwise, your yellow hair or your dark hair will not absorb any pastel. Bright colors can be okay with not so white hair. A quick disclaimer, I am not a hair care professional. You might say that, hey, you have a hair salon, so she kind of knows what she's talking about. No, I don't. But I do not have a formal education in hair care. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. And if you're gonna do this yourself, please know that you're not gonna attain the same results even if you follow the exact same steps because you're gonna have different hair that's gone through different treatments. And there's a lot of different chemicals and factors that affect the way that your hair is going to turn out even if you use the same products, even if you do the same steps. So apparently they have a hair salon, but they are not hairdressers. Uh, there are many people that, business people, that are opening a hair salon and they put hairstylists in the hair salon and she listens to the hairstylists that work in her salon. Every person has a different type of hair. If you put on 10 people the same product, every person will have a different end result. If your friend or somebody on TikTok or YouTube using a certain amount of color or a certain brand of color or whatever, don't expect to have the same result as they are. You are unique, so it's really different for every person. This is really true what she says. Okay, so I have pretty much mixed in the entire tube of pastelizer because I know from experience that this brand is pretty pigmented and my hair is pretty light. So I have a feeling that this will take and I don't want my dark purple hair. Um, so this is what I'm left with and I'm just gonna start applying it by section. This is not saturated enough. There are not enough products on your hair. So I am starting to run out of color and I'm only halfway through my head. Um, I was hoping this wouldn't happen because I bought two tubes, but clearly I'm dumb. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start spraying my hair because it's starting to get really, really dry, which is making it really hard for me to apply the color. So I'm just gonna use some water spray Ooh, to make sure that my hair stays damp and the color is easy to apply and actually goes over my entire head toner or these bright colors has to be applied or damp hair not very wet hair the more water there is in your hair the less your hair will absorb but 
if you apply it on dry hair, then certain parts of your hair will absorb so much more because some streaks are white, more damaged, some streaks are yellow. So the, the one will absorb more than the other. Make sure that your hair is slightly damped wet. But you can see now on the picture you see blonde spots. You can see where the product is saturated and some parts of the hair hasn't seen any hair color yet. So you see what the end result will be. It will be patchy. And with spraying your hair after applying, it will help a bit, but you had to do it in the beginning. You know how much hair you have. I know I have no hair. I know that. But you know if you have a lot of hair, buy extra product. Because at this rate, I'm gonna have a split dye situation. I don't know how we're gonna achieve all of this in this time frame. But you know, that's what you get when you do at home hair color. It's always a little bit of a mess. That's the beauty of it. You don't really know how badly you're gonna mess it up. So what I'm hoping for is if I don't completely manage to turn it all purple, the sections that are yellow, as long as they go silvery at the very least, because the purple cancels out the yellow, I think I'd be okay with that too. I'm really hoping that they go silvery. Okay guys, so I have fully saturated my hair, but this side is a lot darker than this one because I started to run out of color because I didn't dampen my hair while I was applying and so it dried out and I ended up applying to dry hair, which I didn't think about earlier. So what I think is gonna happen is that this side is gonna be darker than this side. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I wanted to show you the outcome of my hair. Um, <laughs> it's bad, right? It's bad, like, ow, I can accept that. Okay, this is how my hair turned out. It's bad, but I don't hate it. Um, I'm okay going out in public with it and it's not made me cry or anything like that. So it's very, very, it's also not like styled right now. So I think if I styled it, it would definitely look a bit better. Um, but this is currently what it looks like. It's just a mess of like blonde and ash tones. Like I said, purple cancels out yellow. So it's just made it like a bit silvery gray, but also it's still blonde in some places. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do about this. I'm probably just gonna go to Hair Play Nest and to give me a bleach wash to get it out. A bleach wash will get rid of this color completely. But if I see the color now, the blonde in the beginning was not the right color for you. And a dark gray, would suit you so good, but dark gray, not light gray. But it turned out as I expected, not enough product, not saturated enough, not fine sections. The beginning of the color was not even. If you have an even base, then you will have an even result. Otherwise it's not possible. So have you enjoyed? Have you learned from this video? Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is ciao kiss.